Hey everybody, welcome to the Mr. Bridside vlog. I'm Paul Eadzis, AKA Mr. Bridside. Bridside Network is Brooklyn's creative connection. Our channel hosts a bunch of different shows brought to you by creatives from Brooklyn, New York City, and the greater tri-state area. Please like and subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon to stay notified when we post new stuff. For this episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about what's been happening on our break from our music show. It's been a few weeks of our break, a lot's happened. Look at this new kitchen, it's our brand new set. I'm gonna talk about that and how a Blue Jay got stuck in the studio. So let's get down to Bridges. This is vlog number two. Go Bridgeside. A lot has happened the last few weeks, including getting this beautiful kitchen. Isn't it gorgeous? This is the finest butcher block wood that Brooklyn has to offer. I got it in Jersey though. My carpet is from Jersey but it's all right. So after a great season three finale, we went right to work on the kitchen the very next morning. We had some workers come in, we started painting the cabinets, a lot was going on, I was exhausted. And right when I thought I couldn't get more stressed and exhausted, Andrew, one of our crew members here, came in the studio and he said, Paul, there's a Blue Jay in the studio. And I said, what? He said, a Blue Jay. And I said, what? I went into the studio and lo and behold, there was a large Blue Jay hopping around on the lighting grid. Now it was pretty cold outside, didn't look like the Blue Jay wanted to go anywhere. He was happy hopping around there, but then we had to try to get it out. The workers came in, and we had like six guys trying to get this bird out. It was flying from one side of the studio to the other. This is exactly what I wanted the day after we ended our season finale and started building a kitchen. Sadly to say, either before it came in or as it flew into the studio, it hurt itself and it was bleeding from its wing, flapping around everywhere. It was hiding behind the curtains at times. It was finding every little crevice and every corner to get away from us and just stay there. It wasn't leaving that studio. Now, of course you might say, why don't you just get a net? But I don't have a net lying around. I didn't have time because a Blue Jay was defecating everywhere in my studio. So one of our crew members, Rich Han, was also here and me, Andrew, and him started playing Blue Jay mating calls out the studio to try to guide its way out. This way, bird, freedom. It didn't work. Freedom! All the physical attempts of trying to get it out of the studio didn't work, so we had to think of new options. So I Googled how to get a bird out of a garage. Google said to shut off all the lights and let the only light source be outside so that the bird would be drawn to the light. Birdwatch 2018. This bird wasn't drawn to any light. It just likes staying inside. Then I figured, wait, this is a great idea to go live with. We always wanted something organic to happen that we can just shoot and have a great video. I'm like, this is Birdwatch 2018 right here. And everyone got really excited for a second. We're like, oh, this is gonna be so funny. It's gonna be hilarious. We started getting the camera set up. And then I started to think that bird was bleeding in there. We don't even know if that thing's alive. What if we go live and it never comes out and then it eventually just dies in there. So we didn't do it, but we did set up the live stream and we're ready to go with it. Katie even made a preview image. Here it is, pink. Then I had an epiphany. It's now several hours since the Blue Jay's been in the studio. We've resorted to playing predator noises in the studio. So I went back to Google and searched Blue Jay predators. What I saw was owls, hawks. So I got those noises and we played it through the speakers in the studio. The owl didn't work, so then I did the hawk. The hawk didn't work, so I tried an eagle. Then I tried all three together, and I was blasting this with the door open in my backyard. My neighbors must have thought something crazy was happening outside. This bird was loving it. He was a camera whore. Come on, bird, go out. So after the predator noises didn't work, I just had to figure out a way to construct an actual net. So I ended up getting a pole, a large recycle bag, and a bunch of gaff tape, taped that baby together, and I constructed this flimsy net. And there I went back into the studio. It's now been about five hours that Blue Jay's been in there. Again, blood and shit everywhere. At first trying to trap it, the Blue Jay started flying at me and I got scared. I jumped away and banged my arm, started screaming. Ah! After I banged my arm and got focused, I said, I'm getting this thing. I eyed it out, plotted his next course, started quickly going from one side to the other side, the other side, it's flying across, it's, then it starts flying in a pattern and I catch on to his pattern and then- I got, I got it. it! I got it! Feeling of accomplishment I felt for that catching that Blue Jay 
probably surpasses anything that I've ever done in my life, I think. <laughs> well, where did you pick him? So when I caught it, I actually played dead. You could see me hold it in the bag. And then I released it and it flew away healthy. I think it had some time to rest after six hours and it, it was fine. So I guess I gotta thank this Blue Jay for forcing the issue of something we already knew we needed to do. It was the first day of our six week break, so it was actually a perfect time to start the process of painting. So now looking forward, we got Cooking in Brooklyn season two. Danny Milano is back. We have Britside Live season four. We got this brand new kitchen, a brand new painted studio. So after six hours, we finally got the Blue Jay out. This is the thing that did it. And I'm just happy it's over. I'm happy we have a painted studio. I'm happy the kitchen turned out. I'm happy you watched this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna do this every week. Keep you posted what's happening here. We got no shortage of funny little stories. We got a lot of different people, a lot of different characters. There's always something interesting happening here by the studio. Go Brad side. Wanna thank you guys for tuning into vlog number two. We'll come back next week. We're gonna talk about our trip in LA visiting Tony, one of our own.